Shalom, my name is Rabbi Sean Zevit, and I'm a rabbi for human rights. I'm also director of Congregational Services and Social Justice for the Reconstructionist Movement, JRF. And part of why I'm a rabbi for human rights is both individually, uh, my commitment and my feeling that to embody the idea of B'Tselem Elohim is a fundamental value. The uh, aspect that each human being, each aspect of creation is a reflection of divinity, inherently so, without having to justify that. And, uh, and also as a movement that we have been behind and very active in the, in the founding uh, and in the programming of Rabbis for Human Rights from the start. So it's not only important to me to look at that and how I live that uh, within my own home and my community and also in relationship with people from other backgrounds, but also globally, and then also how we manage to uh, organize a sense of a power base and sense of community organizing across North America and the world through our congregations so that we don't only put all the effort into uh, local, but we also think globally around this. Because when it comes to actually making a difference in, in human rights, that can only be done uh, by really all of us working together and exerting power, raising voices. Uh, this needs to be more than just a feel-good exercise for it to ultimately have meaning. And what are the human rights issues that you are most passionate about? Well, certainly there are, the trafficking issue is huge. Um, I think that water is going to be an uh, enormous issue. It's where sustainability dovetails with human rights. Uh, even the issues in Darfur were caused uh, initially before the political elements by reduced area, by people having to move into smaller areas to compete for resources, and then rights being taken away from some people over that. Uh, I think these are one of the big areas that we're going to need to look at in the future, so part of my per personal commitment is to weave in the areas of sustainability and rights for human beings to live safely, securely, and, and have access to uh, you know, life-giving food and sustenance.